welcome to my channel and makes I am Anne and for more information about uh, this video that I am showing you today uh, you can go to my blog at atmakes.blogspot.com so today I am sharing with you my brand new uh, studio slash craft room I am very excited to show this to you the footage uh, that you are about to see was shot a little earlier today because of the lighting the lighting was much better and uh, so this part of the video was actually shot after so there's a lot to see I, I hope you uh, watch the whole thing and uh, please don't forget to comment afterwards like please and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I would love to have you uh, as part of my fantastic group of viewers that I love so very much so thank you again for those of you who are come who've come back to see this video and uh, by the way I hope to get to a thousand subscribers very soon and then I'll have a giveaway just a heads up so uh, don't forget to uh, look in the description below for any other information and go to my blog at nmakestopblogspot.com enjoy okay so before I lose all daylight I wanted to film this video of my brand new studio slash craft room it is done, um, well, minus a few little details. There's still some paint drying. A few little adjustments that have to be made in the next few days. But uh, since I'm on a deadline, I wanted to film this now to show you um, what it looks like. It's not totally decorated, of course, because there's still some paint drying on the walls. And I still have a lot, yes, a lot of stuff to move upstairs from my basement studio. And uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, there will be links or iCards up in the corner to uh, link to previous videos that I did of my current craft room that right now is a total mess because I'm moving it. Uh, and this is where I will be working now. This is where I will be filming videos. So as you walk in to my beautiful new space, uh, you are walking onto this brand new tiled floor. I am loving the color. It is great, dirt does not show up too much on it. And I have this octagonal island that uh, my contractor had this idea in his head and when uh, I started imagining it and redesigning it, I was like, yes, go for it. Um, and I'm so happy of how it, this has turned out. This is just fabulous. I love the workspace on here. I have four areas, just like this one, that have a shelf underneath just to put a few items, a plug bar, and I'm trying not to make you dizzy here, but as you can see where <laughs> Kitty is, um, a chair fits very well under there. It is a counter height, so I got this drafting chair to put in there and I only bought one because it's actually an office chair that I mounted onto a kit to make it into a drafting chair and I wasn't sure if that was going to work and if I would like it and I do so I will probably uh, most likely I will go be going to uh, purchase a few more so in the center of my island so far you may recognize this from uh, other videos is my island with not my island, um, my tool caddy on this Lazy Susan thing that I have. I just decided to put it there for now because it does look pretty and it'll be very useful to have and everything will be within reach. Over to my left here, um, as you enter the craft room, this will be what I refer to as the more messy area. This is where I will be storing mostly paints and stuff that is messy and that requires cleanup more than the other side, which will be mostly for paper and dry goods. So here I have a cart full of supplies for my mixed media making. Some of these cupboards have started to get filled up with a variety of my paint supplies. And 
Here's some more of the products I have. Uh, the cupboards below still do not have a lot of stuff in them and that will be coming, but I will have further future videos to show you uh, in more detail what goes inside if you want, if you want to know what I'll be putting in there. Here's my, t my caddy for all my brushes, every type of brush that I have, uh, paint brushes, brushes for inking, you name it, they're all in here and all separated. I have a lovely sink now in my work area, which is such a bonus. It'll be such a time saver for me, and I'm very happy with that. I chose to install this pegboard along the back wall instead of a regular backsplash. I wanted to utilize all the space as much as possible. I also chose some LED under cabinet lighting, which is very lovely, especially at night. And if you're wondering, these cabinets are all from Home Depot. I worked very hard with a lovely designer there to design the cabinets that would come into this place. And uh, this is what we came up with. So because I wanted to use every inch of this space and we had some space that was kind of lost, I asked my contractor who was an expert a craftsman to help me in designing this paint bottle cubby here so this is actually made of pine and uh, it's made to size and it's made to perfectly hold uh, my collection of craft paint bottles and it fits perfectly in between these cupboards which normally would be an empty space that would just have a filler but uh, this is what he did and I'm so happy that he did that. I also chose to put uh, some more pine molding beneath all the cabinets. I love the look of the wood. And below the counter in between these cabinets, there was going to be some lost space. But again, um, I had this beautiful piece built. So, I can store more of my craft paints. Now, I just told you that I chose this wood molding here and around the counter top here, which is a laminate that is a granite uh, looking cabinet, uh, laminate. I did not wanna go for real granite like I have in other parts of my house because this is a work area. And I didn't want to, you know, feel bad about ruining it with something or dropping a hammer on real granite. So this is what I went for. I chose to put molding on the edges instead of having a laminate edge. I'm glad I did that. And this is the uh, Ixa wall, the outside wall, and it is covered in pine all wood and it has been stained in a white wash and all the moldings around the windows are wood and they're painted in this nice glossy white. I have these great big windows so there's lots of natural light. I love that and okay I was just showing you that that was the left side with my sink and then as you turn the corner here, there's some more counter space, more cupboards, and below the counter here, I have these extremely large drawers, which are wonderful. I could open up one of them. They're, it's a bit messy, but give you an idea. I am able to put like my tool kits, some big tools in there. <laughs> yeah, that's a very old blender. And, um, it was just really practical to have these pull-out drawers instead of deep cupboards where everything gets lost and I have to break my back to get into them. Some more pegboard. I've hung up some of my most used tools that I use in the various work that I do. And here is my little oven uh, that I use for baking clay and only 
baking clay and craft stuff. It's not for food. There's another cupboard. Every, every inch of space has been used. There's still some furniture that has to come in to fill up spaces here. We still have some shelving to put up. But, um, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like to now, up till now. So here you can see most of the room. Well, you can see, yeah, the whole room from this angle here. So let's walk towards that so I can show you more of what is happening here. I have this sitting area with my little fireplace. Um, yes, it's in front of the doors and windows, but it's winter and we're not opening those <laughs> doors right now. So this is just very, very cozy. And it's a very lightweight little uh, electric fireplace that I'll be able to move out of the way once the warm weather comes. So I have these lovely chairs and they're very comfortable. And this nice little rug. And there's my assistant again. So again, uh, this is the the south wall, and with all my windows, lots of natural light, lots of snow to look at. Ugh. So at the very end here, so we are on the complete right side of my studio. Again, I have the same system of cupboards as on the left side, with a smaller counter space, just because that's how this room is uh, made and a whole series of these drawers and uh, I can show you what's in one of them right now because I did um, set that one up. So in here I have all my trims and ribbons. This is most of my collection. I just have about a meter or three feet of each of the ribbons and cords that I actually have in my big collection. And the rest is remaining in my basement and storage. And above that, in the these cupboards, I have chosen to store my stamps, my wood rubber mounted stamps and my clear acrylic stamps. Uh, these are just post-it notes that I have so I can make some labels, but this is pretty much how it's going to be. Of course, not all my stamps fit in there. So for now, I have them still in one of the rest in one of these rolling plastic drawer thingies. <laughs> oh, sorry, she just loves attention. So, and as you can see, there's some bags there. Those are actually from Creativation. They still need to be emptied and put away. So going back around the corner here, we are still on the right side of my room. We have the same situation on this side where I did not want to uh, waste any space between the cupboards. So this area also has this cabinet with shelves and above I have another paint bottle cubby holding thingy and lots and lots and lots of cupboards. On this side of the room is where I will be doing mostly paper crafting. So as you can see, I have uh, my favorite Cricut machines, all the die cutting, printing machines, a printer. And below, lots and lots and lots of storage. Uh, this storage is pretty much going to be the way it's going to stay. Uh, in these pull-out drawers, I have um, my my Sizzix here, die cutting machine, and plates, and then I have a series here of dies, all sorts of thin steel dies, other thicker dies like the Tim Holtz and the for the Sizzix. And at the bottom here is mostly embossing folders. But like I've already mentioned, uh, I can do more in-depth videos uh, in time. In this cupboard, I will be using it mostly for my papers. 
I've got my cardstocks there and a lot of printed papers. I still have empty shelves above, but trust me, I will fill them in no time. And below my Cricut Imagine here in this cabinet, I had just a shelf that was installed today to hold these really long art, uh, watercolor art papers. Those are my sticker binders. And this drawer pulls out here. And in there I have all my alphabet stickers, my specialty papers, and stencils. In this cupboard there are also some pull-out shelves. Uh, they're not full yet, so there's just some equipment that I've put there for the time being. That's my laminator and that's just a a battery backup for the computers and just some another printer there and paperwork and yeah stuff has to go there now this is the area that will be completed tomorrow this area will be where I will put all my rolls of vinyl you know I work with Cricut and I have a lot of these vinyl rolls there will be a cabinet that is being made now uh, similar to the paint bottles but for the rolls of vinyl and below that, this area, it will be the same thing. So you'll just have to come back to see that fully done. And I mean, sorry if I am making you dizzy. I'm trying not to turn too quickly. But here we have another view, another shot of my room. And this is my desk, my brand new desk which was just completed a few hours ago. It is a series of those cubes, but on top of that, there is a other white melamine top that is sitting on top of some pieces of pine. There is pine molding again, just to combine the whole look of the room and just tie it all together. I think this is a very, great space it's nice and wide it will get filled up in no time with my computers and all my uh, desk accessories and you know I have a lot of that too and on the end right now I have two of these pink carts uh, these are from the recollections uh, collection at Michael's and they're holding a ton of coloring and writing tools for now, I have my rotating ink pad caddy that is holding mostly pigment paints, a uh, pigment inks, and I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there, but that's where it is right now. And on this side, with the elevating of the tabletop here, um, my contractor built these little cubbies for me, so I have extra space on top of the cubes below the work table for storing all sorts of tools and supplies. That is that for now. You uh, will need to come back to see more, to see uh, how I decorate this entire room. And uh, if you have any questions, if you want to know exactly like what particular materials are stored in a particular area, please let me know in the comments below. I so appreciate you stopping by today to come and visit in my new craft room. Please go check out all the other uh, craft rooms that are part of the blog hop that is going on with Angie. Uh, please, if you like this video, like it, thumbs up, please share, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And a little heads up, I intend on doing a giveaway uh, when I get to over a thousand subscribers. So please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. There's going to be a lot of crafting done in this room. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.